hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to run poppy linux on your virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer for example i could be running mac os windows kali linux and many other operating systems virtually on my machine now the first thing we have to do is to download and install virtualbox so head to your chrome browser and then search for virtualbox Now you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now click on it and it will take you to VirtualBox official website. Now by the left, click on downloads and then select your machine. So we are using a Windows machine, so select Windows host. You can see for Mac OS and many other operating systems. So let's click on Windows host and it should start downloading. Now I already have this installed, so I'm just going to cancel it but the installation method is just like every other software now the next thing we have to download is poppy linux iso file for the installation so let's search for poppy linux and you can see the first page over here poppy linux home click on it this is the official website for poppy linux so let's scroll down and you can see the latest version of poppy linux now we are going with Poppy Linux Ubuntu Focal 64 which is FOSA POP 64. Now click on main or mirror to download and it should start downloading. The size is about 409 megabytes. I already have this downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it but make sure you download it. Now after downloading we can close our browser and then open our download folder. So this is our FOSA POP 64 which is our Poppy Linux we downloaded. Now open your virtual box and then create a new virtual machine by clicking on new up here. Now let's call this machine Poppy Linux. Set the type to Linux if it is not set already. And then set the version down here, screw down to other Linux 64 bits. Now click on hardware and then set the base memory which is the RAM. So let's set it to 5 gigabytes now you shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine so you can see i have 16 gigabytes of ram on my main pc so i shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent else it will slow down my host computer same with the processor core as well you can see from one to four is recommended from five to eight is not recommended so i'm gonna go with three now click on hard disk and then set the amount of storage you want to allocate to your virtual machine so I'm just going to give it 77 gig and I think this should be okay. Now click on finish. So we've successfully created a new virtual machine called Poppy Linux. Now we have to make few changes to this machine. So click on settings and then go to system. This is the motherboard which we can switch whenever we want. Now go to display and set the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also turn on 3D acceleration over here. Now go to storage and then click on controller IDE. You can see empty over here. Now click on this CD button over here and then click on choose a disk file. Now select the Poppy Linux ISO file we downloaded, which is here. Open and then click on OK. So once we click on start, it will boot into the Poppy Linux ISO and we should start installing. So let's click on start. Now this is just a quick boot which you can use actually but just click on OK. Now let's close this. OK so click on menu by the side over here and then go to system and then scroll to G parted over here. Select SDA and then click OK. You can now create a new partition on the allocated VDI space. So let's click on device, create partition table and then click on apply now you can see this is unallocated so right click on it click on new and then we can just add a label here so let's just put in something pop now let's click on add and then click on this mark button to apply changes apply it has been successfully applied now let's click on close 
now click on the new partition we just created right click on it and then click on format to now select ext4 and then click on apply again this button over here apply now let's close this now select the partition click on partition and then click on manage flags select boot so we have to set the boot location to this partition so we won't be on the guest mode because anything we do on the guest mode will actually be lost once we restart our machine now after setting this to boot then let's close it and then let's close this window as well now you can see this install over here so we can begin the installation now click on install on your screen and it should open up this window now click on installer down here you can see and then select the disk we want to run the installation which is our internal hard drive or the partition we created so just select the last disk over here and you can see the size it is selected now click on the disk icon again and you can see we are about to begin the installation click on this button over here and then click on ok click on install yes click on ok click on ok 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 and then click on ok so we are actually done with the installation now let's close this window go to our menu click on exit and then let's shut down now let's click on no we don't really want to save anything now open your virtual box again go to settings now we have to remove the iso file so when we boot again it doesn't start from the beginning so go to storage and then you can see the iso file over here right click remove attachment remove click on ok now start your machine just press enter key to continue now we have to set our preference based on what we want so don't ignore this set your country your region your time zone and every other thing you want to set now you can see the resolution over here we can actually change this later so let's just leave it that way now we are done with everything so we have to initiate the first shutdown so go to menu and then click on exit click on shut down now click on save because we want to save the changes we made now let's go with normal no encrypt okay hit okay yes save create pop swap swp let's select time from internet okay and we are done so you can boot into your poppy linux anytime all your preferences have been saved you won't be asked any of these questions again so basically this is how to install poppy linux os on your virtual box if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one